What happened in the 1800s, and why does this rock look like a person? Most of these incredible buildings were supposedly built in the 1800s. People didn't know how to do anything for hundreds and thousands of years until our amazing society showed up. Is that true? Or are we getting an ego boost to distract us from the truth? History tells us that we are the greatest, and we are, right? Well, that building is amazing, but we're still the best. Okay, that building is even better. What is that? Wait, they had wireless energy? What is going on? Fine, I'll admit it. The mainstream narrative is lying. What a great way to get people to believe the narrative. Tell them that they're the best. Who is going to question that? I guess some like us will, but the majority won't, for now. We look around and most of these incredible ancient buildings were taken over by banks or the USA. The USA and banks were both created and what do you know? Right after that, we get all these brand new inventions. If we had these buildings in the 1800s, there's no doubt they had technology that is also hidden from our history. Other types of technology other than just building. If this timeline is planned, then all previous history is false or extremely altered. If this is true, and this isn't the first time the car and the light bulb were invented, where are we? And when was the first time it actually was invented? How long ago? What are the odds that the stock market is created 16 years after the USA is formed? What are the odds that the USA is formed in 1776 and 16 years later, the stock market comes to be? in 1792. How does that happen? And why do both of these things get all the great buildings? Have you seen photos of this building? If you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that this building was found, claimed and repurposed. Absolutely incredible architecture. 12 years after the stock markets formed, we have the first train. What are the odds? So these people needed to get around, right? So in 1804, we have the first train. In 1817, the first bicycle was created. So a servant to the Duke of Germany made the bike. A servant. This reminds me of the stories where the prisoners built all the Capitol buildings. What a joke. Nothing happened for hundreds and thousands of years, but in the matter of like 20 years, we got the USA, we got the stock market, the first train and now we got a bike and this is just crazy of course we have to wait a long time now till 1863 for anything else to happen what torture 1863 soccer was created they had no games before this nobody played any games no fun no getting around nothing for thousands of years no fun Finally, we have some fun in 1863, and we have the first phone in 1876. So you can see we're getting some fun, we're getting some toys, we're doing some technology, we're introducing it to the community once again, in my opinion. That same year, 1876, we got another game created, the Major League Baseball. So now we have two games. Now things are getting fun. So the mainstream narrative can't figure it out. They don't know where baseball came from. They say maybe from a game called Tut Ball, Stool Ball, Flanders, Rounders. They just don't know. Then in 2005, someone wrote a book called Baseball Before We Knew It. And they don't know what the heck is going on. Honestly, it's embarrassing for them when you really read what they're saying and have open eyes. People are starting to use trains and bikes and phones and sports all in a matter of a few years. Go figure. Nothing happens for thousands of years, but as soon as the USA opens up, everything starts happening. What are the odds? It's starting to rain here, if you can hear it. I'm sorry. In 1878, the first light bulb. So now we've got electricity. Two years after the phone, we are pumping this stuff out guys i mean we got the phone we got the light bulb people are just brilliant in this time period huh creating games should we mention the electricity story where thomas edison flew a kite with a key attached so he could electrocute himself i bet you they wish they wrote a better story for that one. Oh wait what only eight years later we got the first car this is no way if you believe this narrative if you believe that everything just happens at the same time and 
nothing happened ever before this, then I'm sorry. This is not possible. 1895. We got the first power tool, okay? No more chisels. We have tools. Just incredible what's happened in the last few years. What were people doing in the 1400s? They must have been bored with no lights, no cars, no nothing. What were they doing in 2,000 years ago? I have no idea. I mean, oh my gosh, they must have been hiding in a cave, if you believe the mainstream narrative. Well, eight years after the first power tool, we definitely need to start flying a plane, right? So in 1903, we got the first plane. Let's just start flying these things around. The Wright brothers were so smart. Their mom must have been so proud. The first airplane flew 852 feet on its fourth and final flight, supposedly. But get this, it was damaged while landing. And minutes later, a powerful gust of wind blew it over and wrecked it. Couldn't write that any better. I had to get blown over by wind. And then, in 1920, the NFL was created. So we've got tons of games, tons of tech, we are just going. Our society is the best ever. I mean, you'd think that all of this would be created over a long period of time. It just comes right out, right after the next one, right after the next one, right after the next one, because seven years later, in 1927, we get the first TV. People are making cars, planes, trains, TVs, power tools, electricity. Unbelievable. Un believable but of course the USA the government and the stock market were first they were before all of this right before all of it not way before all of it just right before right before in 1936 we have the first computer so now we have TVs computers I mean, what's next 1946 the NBA started so basketball starts with the most ridiculous story of all time. They started the game of basketball with a peach basket and a soccer ball. You know, all of us, we all just make games on our free time with peach baskets that turn into multi-billion dollar industries. And in 1983, the internet was created. Just incredible. This timeline is so short, yet you've got everything you need, and you had nothing before this. How do you go from nothing to everything? It doesn't make sense. If you believe that, like I said earlier, there's nothing I can do. I can't, there's nothing I can say. If you really believe that we've gotten everything all in a matter of 200 years, then there's nothing I can say. This is proof, in my opinion, that they had all this stuff. They know how to run a society from scratch. They implant it right into our society after a few years and here we are today. If this timeline was in court, the judge would laugh and tell them that this narrative is absolutely ridiculous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any other things that just you could add to this timeline. I'm sure there's, a, there's more incredible inventions within this time frame, but I hope you guys like this video. I'll be posting a lot more, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you later.